it's very easy to create a survey in Google Docs. I've logged into my Google Docs account and under New, one of the choices says Form. This is the first screen that you'll see when you create your survey. This is a place where you can put a title and in this box you can put out any kind of instructions. This is a place for the respondents to put their name. If you decide you don't want to do that, if you want them to remain anonymous, there's a little trash can icon over here. And then we can delete that. And here's the default question box. And notice there's help text that you can also put in. And then you have a choice of what type of question to ask. The first one is text, and you'll see there's a space here for a short answer. There's also paragraph text for a longer answer. Multiple choice, and you can add as many options here as you want. You'll notice there's a radio button, which allows them to only make one choice from their responses. Check boxes, you can again have as many choices as you want, but they can check as many boxes as they want. Choose from a list, you'll see a drop down list. And finally, a scale. This would be similar to a Likert scale. So I'm going to type in a question that says, how do you like Google Docs? And I'm going to leave this as a Likert scale. And one is going to be hate it. Number five is going to be love it. And if I check this box, this question will be required of all the respondents. They will have to give an answer. If I decide I need to add another question, there's a uh, box up here that says add question. And again, you can choose right from here what kind of question you wish to add. Over here, there's a place where you can email this form. Pick people to invite to complete the survey, or you could actually include the form in the email and they can respond in the email. We'll talk about C responses in a minute. Over here where it says more actions, there's a place where it says embed. And this would be the code that you would copy to put on your blog, your website, or your wiki. And then when people visit your site, they can take the survey right on your site. So this code here is what you'll need to copy and that becomes a widget. Another choice under more actions says edit confirmation. And this is the message people will see when they've completed the survey. And the default response here just says your response will now appear in my spreadsheet. But you can edit this text box to say anything that you want when people have completed the survey. And if you wish to see what the survey looks like, there's a link down at the bottom. If I click that link, I will see what my survey looks like. It will open up in a new window. And of course, I only have one question so far, but how many of our questions you have will all appear on this list. I will click my response and say submit. And that's how easy it is to create a Google Docs survey. This is the course evaluation survey. And I've opened this up in my Google Docs. And up here on the menu, it says form. And if I needed to edit my questions, I could go to Edit Form. If I wanted to see what the form looked like, I could click this one that says Go to Live Form. And once again, if I need the embed code, that would be this choice. What I'd like to do now is to show you the really nice summaries that you can get for your survey. So I'm going to click here where it says Show Summary. You'll see that I had 19 responses. I have a link that will allow me to see the complete responses, but for right now I have a really nice summary with these pie charts. So as I scroll through the list of questions, you'll notice off to the right it gives me the numbers and percentages for each response. This is a great way for students to gather data, for example for a science fair project or any type of survey that we wanted to do and it graphs the results very nicely. You'll notice that 
depending on the type of question, you'll get a different graph. In this case, this was a checklist or a checkbox type question, and I now have a horizontal bar chart. And if you have one that is just a short answer or a long answer, you will see all of the text responses for those questions. And now it's your turn to create your own Google Docs survey.